in the tradition of Malcolm X, peace be unto you. I'd like to ask Mr. X, why cannot a Negro infiltrate the political machine and use power politics to his own end? If he studied the science of politics, he probably would. Most Negroes don't. They become involved politically from an emotional point of view rather than a scientific point of view. You show me a Negro politician, and I'll show you one who's controlled by the white political machine. And if you show me one who isn't controlled by the white political machine, I'll show you one whom the white political machine has labeled as a racist, an extremist. Adam Powell is one of the best examples of it. Anyone that they endorse uh, who will do what they want him to do, he's all right. But when you become politically independent in this country, the whites immediately label you as a racist. The reason for this is uh, the only way you can become politically independent of the white political machine is to have the support of the black masses. The only way you can get the support of the black masses is to, is to say how they think and how they feel. And when you begin to speak to the black masses how they feel and think, then the whites call you a racist because you have to talk in the context of the intense degree of dissatisfaction that exists in the Negro community. Whites don't want to hear this. They want to be told that the problem is being solved. You're not solving the problem for anybody but a few hand-picked Uncle Tom Negroes who benefit from your token integration. And as long as you deal with them, you're going to be uh, adding more powder to a keg that's inside your house that can blow you higher if it explodes than a million megaton bombs. But when you get out here and find how the masses of black people really feel, you're too intelligent to act as you act. If you know how they really feel,